Moving right along. Can I keep that? That's really nice. Uh, Thanks. Right. right now we got an artist. You want to come on out? This is Pamela Rome. And uh, somebody brought her into the studio. Why don't you bring in some of your paintings with you? Hey, sorry about this turnover, but there's a lot of talent here tonight. And people are going to be running in and out, on and off. And they're going to be... Um, Was well, it okay if... Do I have to stand too because there's only one bench? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Okay. Why don't you introduce yourself? Oh well, yeah. This is Pamela Rome, as I said before, and her very first time on television. Hi, George. You want to come out and help? Is it true that you are a North Beach artist? Yes, that's true. <laughs> I noticed you brought some of your stuff. Can I hold like one of these up while we talk? You like Bring this one? Bring the man here. No, no, no. She stays next Wait to me. Wait one moment here. One moment. One moment. And first I'm place, always, we'll just leave it here. somebody that's staggle in here. She's oh, an I audience. Oh, I thought, I thought. Tony Seymour about her here. Well, who's Tony Seymour? This man has got a whole kind of musicians coming in here, baby. He's, oh. They are here now. Oh, well, this that makes it. Somebody. She's somebody. Well, I'm going to find that the out. The is almost long as mine. We're going to have to cool it here until the musicians get up here because we're going to have music here with this painting. You understand that? Oh, I did not realize. Yeah. Uh -huh. Would you look at that? Yeah. So this is art accompanied by music. Thank you. All right. Thank you. You want to say something? Okay, well, this painting... While they're coming out, talk to me. Yeah. I'll, I'm going to show you a few of my paintings. This yeah. one's called Passion for Paint. It was inspired by Van Gogh, who used to eat paint all the time. <laughs> Well, whenever he used to get crazy, he used to paint. <laughs> That's what made his ear fall off. The stories uh -huh. were not true, right? And the colors here are like a green, you know, because the, this color green, it kind of represents a, like a sickness. But also the way I, I represented her is, um, well, the, the, the name of the painting is Passion for Paint. It's very vivid colors. I'm sorry for those of you who don't have color TVs. <laughs> sorry for those of you who do, because we don't have them here. But it's really beautiful, very bright blues and greens. We can just set them right up on me. I don't mind. This is called Who's Bad? And um, it was inspired by Andy Warhol, who, who made that movie, uh, Bad. And he had T-shirts made up just like these t-shirts that everybody's wearing in this painting. This is a surrealistic picture. Um, Chris, how long have you been uh, painting? Well, um, it's kind of a since, strange question. Ever since been. I was, could, yeah. was a little girl. Yeah. Where is this scene? What scene is this in the city? I mean, how long? Well, this is a corner. Place? This is the corner of Broadway and um, Polk Street. Yeah. Um, Right. Broadway and poor. Mm-hmm. All right, all right, all right. Can we see another one? I thought I'd recognize that poor. I just want to look at that for a second. Oh, I like, all right. Onward. Give me another one, give me another one. This is oh, called, they're getting uh, taller, aren't they? Evolution. Well, I brought this one because uh, science fiction is really in now, and I did this one a few years ago, though. Um, it has a gun that goes with it. Let me go get the gun. Oh, sure. While well, she's gone, George, tell me quick. What do you think? <laughs> right. This gun goes here like this. Over the... That's like the gun she has here. I was body painted like this once. Same costume. And after I was body painted, I did the painting. And um, this gun here, see how it's made? It has a microscope on top here. It's oh, wait, isn't this a, a cookie together. dough press here, too? <laughs> I don't know what that is. I don't know. I, I mean, you do, do buy the paints, too, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Where was the last place you did it? Because I've always been like... I, well, I, I went around North Beach painted like that. You know. Oh, these colors are... This is red, blue, gold, 
violet gloves here. And she's got blue and black hair. <laughs> Green eyes. You got more for us off stage. Why don't you bring in another oh, pack? Oh, you brought them here. Okay, okay. You have that. You're from a bad neighborhood? This is called Geishas. And, um... Well, the whole idea of it is that even though, like in Japan, the geishas are dressed a certain way, well, we have geishas too here in America and Europe, but they're dressed in a different way, but she's a geisha also, even though she doesn't look like a traditional geisha. It's kind of like East meets West in the oldest profession. Yes. Gotcha. <laughs> Violet. This is bright red here. Nice. Are there a few more you want to show us? Go ahead, zip off. Gee, gang, isn't this fun? It's not often we get real live artists here, you know? Oh, oh, wow, oh, here, you can just kind of set them up on. Nice. She came prepared, didn't she? What have we here? This is called White Night, and it was just a vision I had. Um, it happened the same day. Should I tell about what happened? Hi, welcome back. Come on in. Yeah, greetings. Back in the neighborhood again. Nice to see you again. Yes. You have something to say about these paintings as well? Yeah, a few comments. Well, are you an artistic associate of Pamela's? Yes, I'm a, um, how would you phrase it? Oh, no, you must. I can. Well, then don't. <laughs> I'm about this painting so I can talk about it here. Yeah, why don't you um, tell about what was happening around the time that, um... I painted this on the same day that what happened in Jonestown. The, uh, and before Jonestown it happened, massacre. right? Why don't you talk about it before? I had the vision on the day that it happened, so I called it White Night. The colors here, this is like iridescent, a very pale iridescent blue. And then I have like a like a pink color here and a bluish violet here. Okay, well, I'll show you another one. Now. They're all very cool colors. It really looks like night, like a night that's very brightly lit by moonlight. Oh, oh you, can, you can steady them on my leg. Okay. Okay, this is called the Narcissist, which is a, one of, a traditional theme with artists. It's a classical theme. Many artists have painted this theme. And, um, well, it's too bad you can't see the colors here because what she's looking into a tinted mirror. So here her towel is a pale yellow, and here it's... Uh, green and here it's like pink and then here it's violet is that uh, a form of saying that our images are distorted the way we see ourselves not necessarily the way we are he has that <laughs> yeah, <sure>. <laughs> <laughs> actually it's what you call it right this is called the voyeur and usually we think of men as being voyeurs but women are also as you've probably noticed, I always paint women, <laughs> almost always, because I, I don't know, I just, I like to represent the feelings and states of mind of being a woman, a woman's point of view of things. Okay, this is green, and her hair is like an orange, and her eyes are green, and her skin, there's like a reflection coming on her, which is a violet reflection, like a neon from the street coming up onto her here. Is this supposed to look like Venetian blinds, as if she were That's looking through a window? Mm -hmm. And like wooden slats for the side of a house, the, out, the outside yes. of it. Yay. Okay, thank you. Moving right along. This is called Dada Angel. And it's a character I made up. Um, she's an angel and she, he, she has wings made out of newspaper clippings. The border here is gold. The street is violet. This is green here, red. Well, 
what else have you got to show us? Oh, I like this one. Memory. And um, would you want to ask me anything about it? No, no, let me see. This is a sunset here. Little moon here. I personally am particularly into statuary. I've always had statues in my apartment. And now I've got a four-footer there, so this particularly, I, it strikes a, a warm chord for me. Oh, I got a good Speaking question. Chords. Yeah, nice chords. I want to say. Well, we'll get to them later. But diva one, I want to show. Hey, we're going to see all of them. It's just I was wondering, what about is your price range? Are your paintings for sale? First of all. Yes, they're for sale. <laughs> and um, do you want to talk money, or would you rather not? Well, I'd rather not talk. Money. That's cool. No. Uh, you guys want to go to wherever she's showing? We'll talk about that later too. You can negotiate, That's right? Negotiable. Right. Uh, not on the cost of materials, though, right? This one I'm especially proud of because it's a collaboration I did with Mark, the lead singer of Devo. Um, th this is called Devo Chorus Line, and I brought it to, sh to show it to him the other night when he was playing here in town. And uh, he wrote this on on their belts. Could you, could you read it to us? It says, Yahooey, wet women waste their food. <laughs> Devotedly yours, Mark Von Devo. And then he also drew on it. He put this little point here. He, he made her titty pointed. Well, I bet that's going for a lot of money. They have different colored stockings over their heads. She has like a reddish, a pale red. This is a pale yellow. And this is a green, all these pastel stockings on their heads. And this is a bright violet sort of pink in the background here. Oh, yes, yeah, Pointed City, so. Yeah. He's a real connoisseur, he is. Classy guy. What do we got here? And this is an, an etching. Hold, I hold did. still with this one, because the camera might have to zoom in pretty close on that if it can. All right. Oops, sorry. Okay, talk on. This is called Last Days at the Omnibus Cafe, which was a, a, a jazz club in town. And this is Tony Seymour singing, who is going to be singing next now. I wonder who that is. Yeah, he looks very familiar. I've seen somebody. Common like face. Yeah, man. He was just every day. jamming here with these other musicians. Well, that's it then. Let me ask you, do you have any shows on or in the near future so that people who are interested in seeing your work in color could come have a look and negotiate prices with you? Yes, I'm having a show at the Vesuvio Cafe on um, Columbus Avenue and Adler Alley. The opening is on the 1st of September and it's the show is going to go on through the 15th of September. And everything there will have a price tag on it or negotiate. It's all for sale. It's not like a gallery, right? That's right. It's for sale. All right. Well, we got it all down. And may we have your name again for our populace? He's listening. Pamela Rome. Okay, you did good. <laughs> yeah, Pam, now could you tell us about some of these other artistic endeavors that you uh, tend to delve into, such as your happenings? Could you describe one of your happenings? It's this has not been prearranged, has it? Oh. Everything here is non-rehearsed. Don't forget that. Oh, totally. Totally. Well, I have happenings occasionally, you know, costume parties and things like that. And how do you compare those with the BNs of the 60s? How do you, how do you describe them? They're more intimate. Oh, I see. Are they legal? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, I just had to ask. But they're private, though. R by invitation only. Yes. Well, then... Describe those invitations. No, how does one get one? Otherwise, are you just teasing us all? You have to be lucky. Yeah, it just you happens, you know? Times. I can understand really? that. Yeah, no, that's fair. I wouldn't let me in. Close the door. Alright, so listen, I want to move on with the show because we got a whole lot of groovy people. Are you going to be doing a little song here now? Alright, then you jam and. Yeah. 
here. The whole gang down. Listen, just get a few. Yeah, okay. Come on out here, baby. Everybody come on out here. Come on down front. Come on down front here. Come on out. Hey. Huh? Okay. Okay. Come on. Hey, come on. Okay. Okay, world. In this world, so full of people. I'm glad there's someone like you to help me over the rough spots the way you always do. Someone who's always on my side, Tony. Sidekick. Sidekick. Whenever a friend is needed. You got it. Someone who's always glad for me. That's right. Just <laughs> 34. Someone that I can talk to. A money order. And what's more important? Six six. Ten. Or for even quicker. To be sweet. And Marilyn Wilson. Someone who never let me down. Three, four, one. Okay, world. In this world, so full of people. I'm glad there's someone like you to help me over the rough spots the way you always do. Someone who's always on my side, Tony. Sidekick. Sidekick. Whenever a friend is needed. You got it. Someone who's always glad for me. That's right. <laughs> Just 